Welcome to Worldview India, uh, Advani ji. A joint group against terrorism was already in place between India and the, and the United States. In fact, you have this joint group with five other countries. Now, therefore, one assumes, since this is a global war against terrorism, as President Bush says, so you must be very much uh, in the loop, as they say. You must be sharing a great deal of, of confidence with them. This joint group which we have with the United States and with several other countries is the result of uh, India having taken an initiative in the last uh, three and a half years, trying to emphasize and uh, mobilize world opinion against international terrorism. In fact, these three and a half years that I have been in this office, Whenever anyone has asked me, what do you think is the biggest challenge to India today, to your government today, I have unhesitatingly said cross-border terrorism. And uh, it has been our view that terrorism is a kind of a menace which today bothers India. but it is going to bother most countries of the world, particularly the democracies. And so we have been trying to canvas that this global threat should have a global response. The Americans, what have they told you? As I said, you have been sharing intelligence with them. The impression I have is that from day one, whenever discussions took place, they zeroed in on Osama bin Laden even then. So what has changed now? The fixation has been because of the earlier attacks on certain embassies in which Osama bin Laden or his uh, organization Al-Qaeda was supposed to be involved. And uh, this time, on the basis of whatever evidence they have been able to collect, they have publicly said that all the evidence they have gathered points towards Bin Laden and his network. To some extent, their anger against this organization, against the background of September 11th, is understandable. But I only hope that they realize that uh, most of these networks are indivisible. Most of them uh, sustain themselves by relying on each other. And therefore, as they have said formally, a battle against terrorism has to be total. It cannot uh, be obsessed with one country or one organization, and certainly not with one individual. Therefore, yesterday when someone asked me, uh, who's your biggest enemy? Is it uh, Taliban? I said, no. My biggest enemy is terrorism. Though here in India, we have uh, suffered at the hands of terrorists who have been mainly inspired by Pakistan working in tandem with Taliban. Now, you mentioned Pakistan. And Pakistan is now the frontline state, as it was in the case in the fight against the Soviet Union in Afghanistan. It is a frontline state. Might it not be a, a terrific future that we are looking forward to, that Pakistan comes out chastened, anti-terrorist state from this experience? Wouldn't it be a wonderful thing for the region? My, my foreign minister has already said he's welcomed if any such thing happens, and particularly after the encounter we have had with General Musharraf just a couple of months back, in which he made statements which no predecessor of his had ever made, because he was the first person. Uh, people talking about uh, terrorism in Jammu and Kashmir being a freedom struggle, we had heard of it. He is not the first who said it. 
but people comparing uh, what's happening in Jammu and Kashmir and Pakistan's assistance in arms, ammunition, finance, and uh, infiltration, and uh, mobilizing all the people of the world, including Sudan and Afghanistan, and sending them into Jammu and Kashmir to support the so-called freedom struggle. And that being compared to India's action in 1971, and saying that, after all, you also built up a Mukti Vahini, which you sent to Bangladesh. After, when he did this, uh, he added a new dimension to the whole situation, which made us feel that this person's and this leader's approach is far more dangerous than the earlier. Because uh, Mukti Vahini, India supported it, no doubt. But Mukti Vahini never indulged in any act of terrorism. Now that this crisis is building up in our neighborhood, uh, Advani ji, uh, what, what are the risks that we are exposed to? Uh, is there pressure, on, is there a social pressure? Is, there a, is, a, is the communal situation uh, worthy of attention? And therefore, the therefore, the government of India also would like to emphasize that this is not uh, anything to do with any religion or any community. It is a struggle against terrorism. It is a struggle against a device which is undemocratic. I can understand country disagreeing with other. I told General Musharraf the other day. I said, if you feel that Kashmir should have belonged to Pakistan because of the two-nation theory. It was a Muslim-majority area of the country, and you have been cheated of it. As a result of that, uh, there have been wars. There was the invasion in 47, first of all, and as a result of which you got a portion of Jammu and Kashmir, which is still in your possession because of invasion, not, not legitimately, not legally. And subsequently, there has been the 65 war. There has been the 71 war, all aimed, partially at least, to get Jammu and Kashmir back. I can understand a war in which security people lose their lives. Security people, security men who have volunteered to become part of the security system with a readiness to, to die for that. But what has been happening after 71 is Pakistan adopting terrorism as state policy, and which has now become the proxy war. But there's an irony, sir, that the Americans are not buying this line at this point in time. At this point of time, we are not selling it that way. Pakistan may be trying to sell something at the moment, trying to strike deals, trying to negotiate, bargain. We are not doing it, because it is not we who are responding to the Americans. I would say that we have been pleading with Americans in the whole world for the last four, four years, and 11th September has made America respond. On that note, thank you very much, sir. Thank you.